Hey guys, welcome to the Sim Racing Paddock. I'm William Marsh, and let's talk about Assetto Corsa Competizione. Assetto Corsa Competizione is going to be one of the highlights of 2018 for sim racing, with many sim racers eagerly awaiting their first opportunity to get their hands on Kuno Simizione's upcoming sim. While there is plenty of excitement for the upcoming title, there are some members of the sim racing community that are disappointed that this is not going to be a full-fledged sequel to Assetto Corsa with the full feature set and modding capabilities of its predecessor. However, I think that Kuno Simulazioni going off track and doing an offshoot title is actually a good thing. My main guess is we will likely see Assetto Corsa 2 sooner rather than later and it will likely adopt a lot of elements from ACC. If I was a betting man, I would think that Assetto Corsa 2 would be announced around 2020 and would have a release around 2021 or 2022. However, Kunos focusing on a more specialized title is likely the smarter move for the time being. If you think about the recent developments regarding Kunos and Mizioni, with them being recently bought by Digital Brothers, it would make sense for their new owners to plan a developer's path for multiple titles in the future. I believe that Digital Bros would not have bought Kunos to plan only one title in the future. They'd likely already have two titles planned for Kunos, and Competizione would be the first title to come from this new relationship. One common trend we have been seeing with the video game industry as a whole is the stopgap title, or alternating back and forth between titles in a series. For example, Forza has both the main motorsport installments and Horizon offshoot titles, which allow for people to experience Forza on a near yearly basis. Gran Turismo also had a trend of releasing prologues between major numbered installments to help alleviate the weight for the main installations. There are a few reasons why I believe Kunos could be adopting this mentality for Assetto Corsa Competizione. The main reason? This is something they have actually done before. In between Netcar Pro and Assetto Corsa, Kunos teamed up with Ferrari and released Ferrari Virtual Academy, which served as a tech demo of sorts for the upcoming engine they had in development. In addition, the release of Ferrari Virtual Academy also came with an Assetto Corsa tech demo, which was an early sneak peek of their upcoming title. With Assetto Corsa Competizione, we are seeing a migration to a new engine, in the form of Unreal Engine 4. While early impressions are very positive, there is still no precedence in the way of a racing simulation title of this caliber utilizing Unreal Engine. Kunos will be translating their physics from the original Assetto Corsa and implementing and upgrading them in Competizione, but still, rebuilding a title from almost scratch is still a heavy duty affair. I think it would be perfectly within reason to have Kunos release a smaller title to be able to focus on taking advantage of the game engine and also adding new features such as the day to night transitions, weather, and driver swaps. Being able to focus on a more specialized title would allow them to refine the racing experience and create a solid template that could be transferred into future racing titles. Speaking of future racing titles, that is admittedly an interesting toss-up. The future of the Assetto Corsa series is no longer solely determined by Kunos, but is also in the hands of Digital Bros. Since Kunos Simizioni is technically now a subsidiary of Digital Bros, that creates an interesting dilemma. If Assetto Corsa Competizione does poorly, then that could spell trouble for the future of Assetto Corsa as a franchise. On the other end of the coin, if Competizione does well, that could lead to Digital Bros granting a larger budget for Assetto Corsa 2 and bringing on even more people for development. If Assetto Corsa Competizione does well, and I don't really see any reason why it wouldn't, that could open up the window for a lot more opportunities with Assetto Corsa 2. We know that Assetto Corsa Competizione will feature support for endurance races and driver swaps. Imagine if Kunos could get the license for Le Mans in Assetto Corsa 2. You could simulate a full 24 hour of Le Mans event complete with day to night transitions and weather. Now that would be exciting. Now again, this is just speculation on my end and I could be very wrong. For all we know, Assetto Corsa Competizione could be a long term title and they could just add great post release content like Le Mans, DTM and other series to add to the previously established GT3 content. However, in my opinion, it would make far more sense logically for Kunos to focus on developing the specialized title first and then focus on a more grand Assetto Corsa 2 in the future. So I would love to hear your thoughts. 
Do you think that a settled course of Competizione not being a settled course of two is a good thing? Let us know in the comments. Also, if you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe button to help keep us on track. For the Sim Racing Paddock, I'm William Marsh, and you have a great rest of your day.